guys. Alright, so I just got my first Misfits Market box. I got the smaller box. It was $22. Let's see what's inside. I got a few things that I actually ordered. So the first one were these micro greens. ordered the organic cantaloupe. Whoa. For you. It's so cool. Hold on. Alright. I got lemon. Where's my egg? <laughs> yeah, Where's my egg? Oh, I don't know. What is this? It's a pumpkin. Oh, an acorn squash. Mommy, it's a pumpkin. I got organic <gasps> little great tomatoes. Yeah. Honey, I know. Tomatoes. Tomatoes. I'll just eat them. <laughs> hold on, honey. <gasps> Alice. Adriana, hold on, honey. It's Alice. I know. Alice I got another lemon. Mom. What? I'll just open it. Hold on. Oh, I got a lemon. Oh, thank you. Um, squash. Oh, I squash. Believe. I love this. You My love squash. It. Shh, hold on, honey, please. It's so cool, Mom. Adriana, please hold on, honey. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, this is one of the cool rats. Adriana, honey, calm down, okay? Ooh. We got a really big sweet potato. Mustard, all natural stone ground mustard. I'll, I'll do close ups too. Lordy, Ooh. got a couple of the onions. I think there's even more in here. More carrot that broke off. Okay, what else? Oh, there's more of those cuties. This is a mango. Yeah, mango. Sweet. Ooh, more onions. Hold on. More onions, more lemons. Uh, what else is in here? This is also what I ordered. Baked crunchy cinnamon banana chips. Because you can also order, um, sorry, I wasn't in the frame, but from Thursday at 4 p.m. to I think it's Saturday evening you can go online and add some items that they have that are specialty like the mustard um, the microgreens the chips and you can add them for a discounted price as well to your box because they bill you on Sundays and then you pick what day of the week you want it and I picked Monday I got I think, what is this <clears throat> kale Organic kale. More pieces <laughs> of carrot. Oh. Scallions, I think. Green onions. Green onions. There's another little orange in here. Little oh, cutie. Mm -hmm. And then another. I'm thinking these are the squashes. Pretty sure. But yeah, that is what I got. Now I will give you guys a close-up of everything. So, like I said, I got these scallions. Or no, green onions, sorry. Um, carrots, which I love how they're on, like... I love that they're just all together. And some of them broke off, but that's not really a big deal. Usually, you know, you're just cutting them up anyway. And then I got a few lemons. Oh, <laughs> I got a couple of the cuties, which my daughter was trying to take the whole entire time. <laughs> um, I got one of these acorn squashes. They're super cute. I don't know what I would do with it. I might give it to my mom. So that's the only thing is you don't really get to pick everything that goes in your box. But I mean, I'm sure a neighbor or someone else might like it. It's a really big sweet potato. <laughs> um, a mango. 
um, a couple of apples, which my daughter will love because she loves apples. Um, some onions. Uh, kale and squash the two squashes and the grape tomatoes now this is what would have come in my box if I didn't order anything else so I think for $22 that was a really good price and I'll have a link below where you get 25% off your first box and then I'll get 25% off my next box so I think that's a really great price and then like I said um, I did order this um, I'm the only one in this house who eats mustard because my husband is allergic and I'm not sure if our daughter is But I was just really craving some mustard <laughs> um, And then I did add an organic cantaloupe. I don't know. It just sounded really good um, And then I also added these microgreen samplers. So there's a lot of different ones in there, which I thought was like great because I don't I Don't know. I feel like I wouldn't buy it, but if it's like already at my house <laughs> you know um, and then these banana cinnamon chips I thought they would be really great um, maybe my daughter will like them I don't know and they weren't that expensive so thought it was good so yeah this is everything from my first um, misfit market box and like I said I did order the smaller one there is a larger one this one is for um, about two people it says but I mean, I think this is a lot and the larger one isn't even that much more expensive. So I might even upgrade to that. But yeah, this is what I got. And like I said, I will leave a link below so you guys can get 25% off. Now I was on a waiting list, so I don't know if you'll be put on a waiting list, but definitely sign up if this is something you might like. All right, guys. So I wanted to show you what I did with a lot of my misfit market produce so these are two zucchinis um i'm gonna make zoodles with them so this this right here is my deluxe spiral cutter yeah. i will link it below if i can find it um so it's really nice um it comes with three blades a thick spiral a thin spiral and a ribbon cut i'm gonna use the thick one for these so yeah let's get to going As you can see all of my azoodles are cut I did leave the skin on because it doesn't really bother me um, and you can tell where like some of the bruises are like I'll just pick out those pieces um, but yeah this was super easy to do and now I have a ton of zoodles which if I would have bought the zoodles at the grocery store it would have cost me like five dollars for like a quarter of this because they're so expensive if you buy them pre done already so yeah, and later this week, um, you will see what I do with them. I just wanted to cut them up today so the bruises didn't get any worse. And I'm going to show you right now how I store my zoodles so they stay fresher longer. All right, guys, so now we're going to store them. Let me move my little zoodle maker here. So I have this big snapware glass container. I like that they snap, they, everything does stay really fresh in there. And I'm gonna get some paper towels to align the bottom here with. I guess it was a little wet, I just washed it. So you wanna line the bottom of your container 
and just put the noodles in. Now I'll pick out like some of the bad ones. Like, the ones that are closer to the edge really just have the bruises on them. But I mean, it really doesn't bother me. And if you're not gonna eat them for a few days, I suggest every day to switch out your paper towel at the bottom. Um, that way it doesn't like stay soaked because as they stay wet, that's when they'll, you know, get a little funky. But yeah, just put it in your container. Like I said, I like the snapware ones and the glass because it really keep, make sure, um, keep all the air out. And like I said, keep the paper towel at the bottom and switch it out every day um, if you're not gonna use them right away. All right, so now we're gonna make something with those zoodles that we just made. Now, this is super easy. I made it for lunch a few times. Just put a couple of handfuls of those zoodles in the frying pan with a little bit of olive oil, that way they don't stick. And as that's kind of heating up, you really don't need to put it in there for long. You just kind of want to heat the noodles up. I put some salt and pepper and some of that everything but the bagel seasoning. While that was heating up, I cut up some of those organic um, grape tomatoes that came in my box that way I could put them in there as well and then I also I had a cheese stick a mozzarella cheese stick so I cut that up too just so I can put that in there um, it was really delicious and because it was a cheese stick like the cheese didn't really like melt a lot so it was a little bit more chunky so it was really good once I put it on the pan I just put some of those microgreens from my box in there as well and it was delicious and took under five minutes to make all right, and then this is the last recipe that I'm gonna share with you guys. So it is using my big sweet potato that they gave me. So I just cooked it in the microwave. Um, mine literally took forever. So I did two and a half minutes on one side, flipped it over another two and a half minutes after poking it with the fork. And then 30 second intervals. I think mine ended up being in there for probably like seven minutes, but it was huge. So while it was in the microwave, I threw a handful of blueberries into a pan. Um, just kind of you want to heat them up so that they break down a little bit and once they broke down I added um, two tablespoons of syrup I just used Aunt Jemima whatever syrup I had on hand and then a half of a teaspoon of vanilla extract now mine is the like expensive Madagascar vanilla extract that my husband bought me by accident <laughs> um, so I really didn't need a lot of it and you just kind of mixed it up a little bit once your baked potato was done, now I cut mine in half because it was just me who was going to eat it. And I saved the other half, that way I can make it again because it was delicious. So all I did was put some vanilla Greek yogurt on top of my half after I kind of mushed it up. And then I put my blueberry topping mix right on top. It was delicious. I highly recommend. Hey guys, all right, so if you've made it this far, give yourself a thumbs up and let me know in the comments. Um, I didn't think this video was gonna be this long, uh, but I really wanted to add in um, what I made with the food because I know a lot of people's issues are probably because they can't pick what they're gonna get and they wanna make sure, you know, that they're gonna use it up. Um, so my overall thoughts are, I really, really like it. Um, I'm definitely keeping my subscription. Um, I think I actually am gonna change it to weekly um because i just i really like it um unless you know i get a couple of bad boxes like i think if i get like one bad box it's probably not going to make me want to cancel it um but we'll see also because i know um once you sign up it'll let you know if you can customize your box or not and not all areas can so some people can customize every single thing they want in their box um as long as it's available so you know, with that coming, they said they're going to try to roll it out nationwide, so hopefully, um, I mean, I know they're not available nationwide, but definitely check. Like I said, I'm going to leave a link below with a code, so it's going to be get you 25% off your box, and then I'll get 25% off my box. Um, but yeah, I really liked the fact that I pretty much used up everything. Um, the only things... I didn't use was the acorn squash which I gave to my mom because she was gonna roast it um I don't really like pumpkin um, and my mom said that's kind of what it tastes like so you know um, but I mean that's fine like I feel like everybody kind of has someone they could be like oh I got this in my box do you want it like 
it's food like someone's probably gonna eat it or you just figure out how to make it and see if you like it I mean that's what I did with a lot of the things that I got um yeah and a lot of things are like stuff I would usually get anyway like the apples um, the cuties the little mandarin oranges um, what else the zucchini I haven't gotten in a long time so I'm really happy that was in my box because and now I'm kind of back on like a zucchini, like a zoodles kick. Uh, so yeah, and the grape tomatoes, like I love them. Another really good thing to make with grape tomatoes, I know, like I already put them in something, but is to like cut them in half and cut up some mozzarella with some cucumber cut up, put it in a bowl, put a little bit of like, um, I would use like probably like a light Italian dressing or whatever light dressing you like and some salt and pepper. <sighs> Delicious. I used to make that like all the time. Um, so yeah, I really enjoyed my box. Um, the, what else did I make that I probably didn't put in here was probably like my kale smoothies. I put the kale, my protein powder, and just some fruit that I had on hand, even, I think it was frozen fruit. Super easy, like, I feel like there's something for everybody. Um, I, like I said, I did get the smaller box, and it's, the smaller box is for 10 to 12 pounds worth of food, and it says it's more for like snacking, not for meals, but it's good for two people. Um, that's perfect for me because I'm probably going to be the only one eating more vegetables so I mean that's fine I mean some of the stuff like my daughter will eat like she ate pretty much all the carrots um and she really likes grape tomatoes too so yeah overall I really really like it um like I said there's going to be a discount code if um you want to get a box as well and try it out um you can also I think I mess messaged this in the first part um, but you can also add like other fun things to your box even if you can't pick everything that's in your box so they have like a little misfits market it's called and starting Thursday at 4 p.m. Eastern time till Saturday I think at 8 p.m. you can go on and whatever's not sold out anyway um you can pick extra things like the microgreen sampler I had was from there um the organic cantaloupe was on there the mustard and for next week, I think I ordered like a mini seedless watermelon. Um, they had a ton of stuff. So I really, really enjoyed it. Um, so yeah. Also, um, since I'm going to be getting the box pretty often, I don't want to do one of these videos every week because then I won't really be able to do anything else. Um, what I'm actually going to do, I think, is do a um, unboxing and save it for put it on Facebook, maybe my Facebook stories, and then just like save it. And I'll also do it on um, probably IGTV. Um, so if you have an Instagram or Facebook, make sure you check below for links and my um, username for Instagram. So I think I'm gonna do it on there and then post um, a couple times a week what I'm actually making with the food because I really did make my Facebook page in the beginning more for like meals and I kinda I guess got away from it a little bit I don't know I feel like my toddler just eats everything I do and I just haven't been able to do like anything crazy but now that we have this you know misfits market box I can have all this fun stuff I feel like um yeah so I'll be probably posting all that um so make sure you follow me if you're not already and yeah I will see you guys later um so this will go up on Monday Memorial Day Saturday make sure you are subscribed if you want to see my wedding video it'll be our five year anniversary on saturday so i'm going to post our wedding slideshow and do a wedding tag that way if you want to know more about my wedding that i had which was um you know probably a little bit biased but it was beautiful we got married on the beach down the shore it was just perfect perfect so yeah i'll talk to you guys later <laughs> bye